Hey everybody! Well today's video is a haul video. I know I haven't been around for a while. Um, right after I finished filming the last video that I did when I had sort of like a cold coming on, it went into a full-blown respiratory, I don't know what, but I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better. Before I share the haul with you, I do want to share one thing with you that really saved me. You guys probably know about this, but I was always using the Robitussin cough syrup and it never seemed to help me, and a friend of mine told me to get the Delsum which I did, the 12 hour cough relief, and it really works. So not makeup related, but if um, anybody's having the same issues, and of course, because the weather has been so warm here, it's in the 80s, and now of course the allergy season has started in, I've just been a total mess. But anyways, um, I really do wanna share a few things with you. A couple of things that I ordered online um, while I was home, and a few things that I picked up previously that I didn't get a chance to show you. So the first thing that I wanna share with you is actually the Chantecai palette that I shared with you in the last video the one that's the coral reef one and I said to you that it was definitely one of my favorites but I hadn't used it yet it was really my favorites to look at and now it's really my favorites to use it is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous palette now you'll notice I'm going to go a little bit closer that the gold that was on it has come off it was really decorative it didn't do anything and I don't even think that I ever started on my eyes when I was using the eyeshadow but the shadows are absolutely gorgeous so I wanted to swatch them for you just show you quickly the three uh, brownish tone. This is the lighter color that I use for highlighting, also on my lid. This middle one I use for uh, contour, and this last one I use either for a liner or for doing the outer V. Now the only color that I don't use as often is this peachy sort of color at the end. It is a beautiful color. I'll probably use it more for doing blush than I will for eyeshadow, although I did use a little bit of it just like in the inner corners. But Chantecaille does an absolute amazing job with their shadows. They're very creamy, they're very blush. They last. They're just definitely some of the nicest shadows that I've ever used. Now I actually ordered two other things from that collection and for some reason they came in one at a time. I'm not really sure why. But the next item that I got from the collection is their gel liner pen their gel line pencil, I'm sorry, in espresso absolutely mad about this pencil. The first thing I have to tell you that of course you know it's a dark brown color and I think that what I've decided is that I'm going to start using more dark brown liners rather than the black. I find the black to be a little bit harsh. Obviously you do need it in certain looks but overall I've been using this with a lot of the shadows that I was doing during the week and yes I was putting my makeup on even though I was homesick because I felt if I walked by a mirror and saw myself in the condition that I felt I'd probably scare myself so I did put some makeup on um, but anyways it's a beautiful brown shade it goes on so nicely it wears beautifully I think it makes my lashes look much better because of course the dark against the lashes um, makes the lashes look thicker and the thing that I love best about it is this brush at the end is that not amazing? I love the angle of it. What I was doing was I was going in and smudging my liner after I put it on and then whatever is left on the tip of the brush I go and because of the angle of the brush I went and just turned it and made a little wing and it worked really really well so really do enjoy that. The next thing that I got from the collection is a lipstick. It's in the color of Sunrise. Now this is a true apricot peach Yes, peachy apricot with a real brown base to it rather than a pink base and I like this a lot I think because it's one of the few lipsticks that I have that isn't peachy pink it's really a true apricot color I'm actually wearing it I'm not sure how well it's going to show on camera that's the problem of course with lipsticks with swatching them as well as wearing them on your lips because my lip color can be different than your lip color and can give you a totally different payoff but the lipstick itself is very hydrating. The color I think is really nice and overall I like it an awful lot. The next thing that I got is from Estee Lauder and they did a new series uh, based on Mad Men, the television show. They did I think a blush and a lipstick. I'm not sure if there are other items but those are the two items that I saw. And the minute I saw the compact that goes to the blush I knew that I was going to have to purchase it even if the blush wouldn't be great but it just so oh, that it turns out that it is really nice. First of all here's the box that it came in so pretty I'm actually going to keep the box but it gets even better than that here's the compact it comes in this really cute little gold pouch and then the compact inside hopefully Daisy's watching because we've been tweeting back and forth about this is that not magnificent and look at the clasp on it isn't that gorgeous just love it. It's in the color of, I think it's Evening Rose, I'll put the name here, 01, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful pink shade, and it goes on like a dream. I'm going to swatch that for you. So it looks a little bit dark, but 
if you blend it out, you see how nice that blends out? Really, really pretty. I did wear it today and I love it. But as I said, that even if I didn't like the blush as much as I do like the blush, I still would keep it just for the compact alone. It's really nice. The next thing that I got is from NARS. I um, had seen a few videos and also read some blogs on, I think this is new, their Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. There's the box to it and here is the um, container to it. So this is a primer, eyeshadow primer. It has like a sponge applicator. It's sort of like a white or clear sort of uh, formula. I haven't used it yet. I have heard that it got really good reviews, so I'm hoping that it will be great. You guys know that I'm looking for a replacement for my paint pots. And by the way, thank you to everybody that had their suggestions of how to bring them back uh, from being so dry, but I want MAC to change their formula rather than all of us to have to change how we take care of it so that it will last. I know they get to sell more because they dry faster, but I know that people buy an awful lot of MAC products, and I know MAC knows about the problem. They should take care of it. Rant over. Okay, the next thing I picked up is a lash serum, a lash plumping serum from Dior. I had this before, and then I switched over to the Chanel one, but I must say that I like this much better. So I picked up another Dior Shore Maximizer. That's the box to it, and of course it looks... You guys have seen this before. I just wanted to replenish my stock, so... It looks like a, a mascara, comes in a regular mascara container, and that's the brush on it. I don't know if it's the formula that is so much better than Chanel or the brush, but whatever it is, I just think that it works better, and I think that my lashes look a lot thicker when I use that as opposed to using the Chanel one. Now, of course, I can't do a haul without doing brushes, and you know how it is. I just love brushes, and fortunately, there are a lot of you guys out there that are as crazy about them as I am, and keep those videos coming and suggestions in your comments because I'm always looking for another brush. As a matter of fact, I do have a couple on their way, which I'll share with you in a later video. Two of them are for Hakuhoto, and one of them I'm going to actually show you at the end because that's a fail for me, so I'm going to leave it to the very end. So the first one from Hakuhoto is S194. It's a mascara brush. So I have a lot of mascaras that I don't use because I don't like the brushes. So And I want to really use them up because they're good mascaras. So I went and ordered this and I've been using it and it works like a dream. So for anybody that has a mascara that they don't like or a few mascaras that they don't like, definitely get yourself a mascara brush. The next brush that I got, and I'll put the name here because I always pronounce it incorrectly. I think the number is MML. Again, it will be down below, but this is like the one that I showed you, um, the, I think the last Hakuhoto brush that I got. Absolutely love it. It's got the wood handle that supposedly gets better with age, and it has a beautiful tip. They are so soft. Absolutely love their brushes. I don't think that there is one Hakuhoto brush that I've purchased since I started purchasing from the line that I don't like, and I'm starting to believe that I think Hakuhoto makes a lot of the brushes of course, you know, at different levels, um, but for different companies. I think they make some of the MAC brushes. And the new Ray Morris brushes that are out, if you take a look at those brushes and then take a look at the Hakuhoto site, you'll see what I'm talking about. The next thing that I got is from Lash Food. Now, I actually got a sample of this in one of my test tubes. Um, you know that I use castor oil, and I really like that for conditioning your lashes, but I did get a sample and tried it for, I think, about a month, and I really do think it made a huge difference, and then, of course, I wasn't using it, so I thought I would get the full size of it and give it a try. I just started using it this week, so, of course, I'll keep you guys updated, but hopefully it will work as well as it did when I used it in the sample. So the last thing that I got before I show you my one brush, sorry not a brush, a brush applicator fail, is a compact that I got from Bobbi Brown. Now, I did not get a full compact. I bought the empty palette that sells for $10. You can put uh, six shadows into it. And first I have to say that I think Bobbi Brown has got the most brilliant system out there. For those of us that have burnt our fingers or cut our fingers or ripped the labels back off of the MAC ones or any other kind of shadows that you try to depot, what you do with Bobbi Brown is that you buy this palette, this empty palette, and you take the shadows that you have and you just basically pop them out from behind so the label stays intact and the whole shadow comes right out and just snaps right into this. So I took six of my shadows and made a new palette for myself. And the best part about it is that you have the label on the back so that you don't have to stick any kind of labels inside or make a separate sheet or all, of, all the different things that people do. However, the one thing that I will caution you on is that if you have a cold and are heavily medicating yourself, that's probably not the best time to do it. Since you guys are such good sports, I will show you what I'm talking about. Can you see that they're all going in different directions? 
So of course I have to go in and fix that, but it will be really easy because I'll just pop them back out and line them up the right way. Okay, so for the last item, which is really not a brush, it's more of an applicator. It's from Elizabeth Arden. It's their foundation brush or applicator. This is supposed to be like the beauty blender. It is not at all as far as I'm concerned. It's very dense. It's very hard. I really don't know how you soften it up and use it to put your foundation on and if anybody has it because I really read a lot of great reviews on it if anybody out there watching has it and can tell me the right way to use it so that I can I could try it again otherwise it's just a complete fail for me now a lot of people were making some really interesting comments about what they look this looks like uh, we'll just leave it at that but anyways I think for now it's just going to sit on my table and will just be a sort of conversation piece so that's it everybody, that's my haul. Hopefully whatever's going on in my head is gonna finally clear and I'll get to do a few more videos for you. I do have a few other things that I have on order as well as I'm hoping that tomorrow I will be out and about and will be able to pick up a few other things that I have my eyes on. I hope everyone has a great weekend planned. Take care, speak to you soon.